Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to discuss wall cleanups, and you'll notice here how this wall on this example building is not cleaning up correctly. So we'll take a look at a handful of ways to clean up the walls and make it work more efficiently. Now, the first thing we want to look at is actually the wall itself. Now, why does the wall have a notch here? Now, if we select the wall, you'll notice that that wall actually is connected to the roof line here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to detach it. So I select the wall, I select detach, and then I select the roof. You'll notice how it then detaches. Now, I'm going to go to, let's say, the right elevation, just so we can see what's going on. If I want it to go up to a certain point, if I know what that height is, I could actually put a number, pick, pick a number, or actually find out what it is. And let's do that. We'll use the annotate tool, or the annotate bar. On annotate bar, as we come down here, since we're in 3D, it's not going to work. So we're going to go to the elevations. Let's go one of the elevations here. Okay. Now, uh, you can see on the building that, uh, great, the last one I pick. You'll see here that the wall is at a point, and so is that roof. I'm going to use the spot elevation. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick a location. So the bottom of that roof is 14.8. So if I want this metal to come up to the bottom of that location, well, I could first of all put it at 14.8. Now select the wall and I'll set unconnected, let's say 14.8, enter. You'll see how that wall jumps up. Now you'll also notice that the wall bleeds through at all these points. Now you could set this to any height. The trick was to show you how you can find the elevation, set the height, and then what we'll do is we select the wall. We'll now set, now set attach top base and then pick the roof again. You'll see how it cleans it up nice. So that's putting that nice and flat here. If you had to bring it up, uh, we could do that also. You go ahead and select the wall. Now here's the interesting part. I select the wall. I'm going to go ahead and set something higher. Let's say I set 16 feet. Notice that that little nub goes up, but the rest of the wall doesn't because it's attached to the roof. So I could bring this up or down as needed. Now, another thing you'll notice if I go back to the regular 3D view, I'll hit Control Tab and control tab, we got a whole bunch open. Spin it back around, hit the home button there. You'll notice how the wall, in reality, probably wouldn't do that. You may want this wall to come on out, uh, maybe a different scenario. So we're gonna look at another tool we can use. The next tool, I'll go back to the building floor plan, is actually a wall cleanup tool. It's actually quite powerful. Currently what we have here is this little corner. Now looks approximately the same. I'm going to spin this around. you notice how we have kind of this similar scenario. This wall comes down and this wall stops here. So we get this notch back to plan view. Let's look at the next option we can use. What we're going to do is we're going to go up top here and in Revit under the Modify tab there's a button that's called Clean Up Walls. Okay, Wall Joins. We pick it we hover over it and we fire up this little square. Now when you fire the square up you see it says butt joint. I'm going to hit miter just so you can see how that what it does. So I hit miter, let's go back to 3D. What it did, see it actually mitered it for us. Like, oh that's kind of cool. Let's go back, control tab, that'll put us back. Let's try something different. I'm going to say instead of miter, let's butt it. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to hit next a couple of times. Now you'll see how the, the actual structural, the, the materials kind of flip flopped around. As I continue to hit next, you see how the different materials adjust. So it changed the the relationship of the objects. Now we'll go back to 3D and see what we have. Now go back to 3D and you'll notice how I cleaned it up. And at this point, the metal is actually gone up the side of the building. So you could do that too. So uh, what it did, it took the sheathing and brought it up and left the other materials there. So the corner cleanup is another tool that we could use to make that happen. Now to get out of it, I'd hit escape twice, hit modify. Now some other elements, you might decide to bring this wall around. So there's a tool in Revit called split. I could split this wall. I'm going to do it in, uh, actually do it in 3D, but let's say you want to do it in plan, you can. I'll go back six feet and I split the wall. Now I split the wall and you'll notice that this nugget of wall is now separated from that nugget. Uh, one fun tool in Revit is actually called match properties. I hit match properties, I pick the main wall. And then I pick the wall nugget, and you'll notice that it's going to clean them up. Notice how it wrapped that, that element around. 
so now we have a nice clean front. So we did a, a couple of ways to clean up walls. We'll also to look at one more on the inside. We're going to go back to the uh, floor plan. You'll notice how these, these walls are continually cleaning up. Uh, you may have bumped into this before. You drag one into another and they, they uh, clean up. I'm going to go to thin line here. Now when I go to thin line, I take this wall, and that's a six inch wall, we drag it back a little bit. But let's say for some reason, we do not want this wall to puncture that jet. Maybe it's a pirated wall, etc. When I get it close and I'll let it go, you'll notice that they want to blend automatically. Well, depending on what you're working on, you may not want them to blend. So here's the trick. Grab the wall, drag it back. And now, once you drag it back, right click on the blue dot. Hit disallow join. By telling Revit to disallow, now I can bring that up and actually touch the wall. And what it does, it butts it. It doesn't go through it. But it doesn't automatically clean up. Now I can then drag it on in further. And you see I can drag it in further if need be. And we can drag it back. So uh, that's another way to clean up walls. Now the next one I'm going to show you is a little crazy, but it works. You have the ability to break a wall up. Let me pull this back a little bit. And pretty much pull the materials back. So let's say for, for I don't know, for some reason, I needed to pull the material back on this wall uh, to do whatever, right? So I'll pull it back on this wall. So let's say, for instance, I've got maybe uh, something in here, maybe a little chase wall. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Now I'm not, I don't know if we have a chase wall in this model. Let's check that out. Escape a couple times. Drop this down. And now what we're looking for is a interior, let's say, one side. All right. And um, I don't know if I'm going to find it, so we may just use this soffit one here. Pick this here, come on over, pick, and I pick. Now you'll notice that um, the wall here has jip on one side, and the other one, these, the jip bled through. Now you want to be careful with this because it get kind of confusing, but there's a little tool up top of the modify, and it looks like an ice cream sandwich. What this does, it changes two things. You'll notice, notice over here it says parts visibility. Okay, show original. When I fire this up, create parts, what it does, it lets me actually select the wall and I can pull materials back and forth. So let's take a look. I'm going to select this wall and I'm on an ice cream sandwich, pretty much break it into parts. Now when I do this, what does it actually do? In this view, it gives me the ability to take the individual materials, as you can see here, and drag them back. Now you'll notice that I don't have the little drag handles. and I didn't make the rules, but it's how it works. It has separate materials here. So if I need to drag one of these back, I can. But it doesn't have handles. If we come over here, I'm going to select the wall or the element and watch the options over here. Show shape handles. It's off by default. You then grab it, drag it, and let it go. You'll see I drug that material back. Now you're thinking, ah, that's kind of cool. What can we also use that for? It's also used in 3D if you want to show how the materials go together in a wall. Now we'll do this little segment. Now well, let's see here. And we'll just do this little segment here, see how it works. My shift spin around. Alright. I'm gonna come up to this little corner. Let's say I need to show somebody how the materials fold back. Now you'll notice that this little piece of wall is also joined with this one. So we have to hit detach from top, pick here, and detach. Let's see how now it goes up. Now, I want to peel the materials back, and it's going to get crazy, but I can actually, again, ice cream sandwich. Now, when I pick ice cream sandwich, what it does, it breaks the materials into separate elements. So I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now, when I pick this wall, let's see if we got to hit ice cream sandwich, or to break in the parts. Now, at this point, you'll notice that the actual materials are separated. Now, what does that do? It gives me the ability to select the, select the materials, and again, turn on a shape handle. What I can do is I can do some wild things. I could drag this material down. Okay. I could then take the next piece of material. Again, turn on the shape handles. We could slowly just drag these things back as needed. So I could drag that one back to maybe right here. Now, we got that piece up top. But I just wanted to show you how this little trick works. So if you had to show somebody something, it can be used as a detailing tool. Pull the next material down. You can walk it all the way through. So you'll notice how we now see the materials here. 
Now since the wall is wrapped, that's why we're getting this uh, this change here. So we might have to go change the uh, assembly because this is made in the parts and this one's not. If you don't like all the parts here, you say, well, how do I put it back? See, it says show parts. Say show original. And what it does, puts it back. So um, just a neat little tip there, how you can clean up walls. Um, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, check us out on the web at therevitguys.com.